Hi guys, it is January 16, 2019. This morning, I woke up to something very eerie and weird. Well, I actually woke up about two hours before this, and it. I looked outside, everything was wet, and it was what appeared to be fog. But then when I went out, a couple of hours later. Well, it appeared to be fog, but it was dry. Very dry. I didn't even know what I was looking at. And driving through this, it was eerie because there was almost nobody on the road. And this is what I was driving through. It This was not fog. It was cloud. It was cloud. Let me just show you um, because I don't have an editing program that works so I apologize for this but this was at about oh, 1030 1030 quarter of 11 in the morning. It was no longer wet. It was dry but this was still, oh, uh, well, driving through it, it truly was a cloud. It's beginning to break up a bit. This is the hospital, by the way, in Anderson, South Carolina. Look at the amount of antennas on this hospital. Do you think people get well at AnMed in Anderson, South Carolina? They don't. In fact, I've heard from a number of people, don't go to AnMed, don't go to AnMed. But, yeah, okay. Well, something's very wrong. Uh... And I'm sure a lot of people believed that it was cloud. You know, even at about 1130, there were still areas where we had not fog, but clearly a very low, low cloud. They are really messing with everything. But this is what it was, and this is when it started to break up. This was not fog. It, it truly was um, a rather strange morning here. But we've got strange going on everywhere. So what is this? More chaff, Evansville, Illinois. In this area, radar blips had an answer. These don't. The mystery was solved. Then it wasn't. Then it was. Now, well, who knows? Don't you think it's interesting that our experts and our scientists and our military and our biologists, everything's a mystery. No one knows. Don't get any answers anymore. So December 7th in Illinois, embroiled in intrigue when mystery radar blips appeared over southern Illinois, western Kentucky, long lines baffled the National Weather Service because they looked like storms, but it wasn't raining. I recently said in a video that it can look like it's raining, but it may not be because I have gone to satellites to see what was happening in my area where it wasn't raining and I saw a precipitation over me but it wasn't raining. So yeah they're messing up an awful lot. Um, so these radar blips, all right, what uh, I'm sure you've seen them. I also recently posted a video showing you these elongated long lines of precipitation one after another, the microwave ripple effect that was down 
in the Gulf, but look how this suddenly appears and you got two, two, uh, you know, uh, precipitation bands and they come together. So apparently this also was seen in Maine, Florida. It does look like a line of storms, right? But it's not. All right. So the reason why, you know, I brought uh, your attention to this article is I find it very interesting and I'm experiencing this more frequently that when I read mainstream media articles on mysteries I sometimes now come across the conspiracy theory hit and it's in this article so yeah uh, the Evansville area, the Western Kentucky, Illinois area, was explained by the war zone, which is what I was on right here. You can check it out. Um, a C-130 traveling to West Virginia from a military exercise out west released over our area huge plumes of, plumes of military chaff radar jamming material mostly composed of aluminum. Why would they release it? They were coming back from a military exercise but then just decided we're going to release a massive amount of chaff over this area. Doesn't explain what happened in Maine and Florida around the same time. Similar blips materialized on radar over Portland December 12, um, Maine only, they don't have planes that have that kind of equipment. So what is going on here? I can't really, you know, tell you, but I did find it interesting. This author of this mainstream media article, all of it could really twist your brain into a labyrinth especially if you like to indulge in conspiracy theories. And I heard from a lot of those folks when a story I wrote about the phenomenon landed on the Drudge Report. This is what he heard. We believe there is more to the story than what the FAA and military and publications such as the War Zone are telling us. That was an investigator from the Mutual UFO Network. Okay, and the ending of the email that he received was, there are a high number of factoids that don't add up. Am I saying all of this is an opening act for a giant extraterrestrial invasion? No, we're not that lucky, but whatever it is, it is exceedingly strange. I find it interesting that these mysteries never get solved. Everybody's guessing, what could it be? And then they bring in the conspiracy theorists. Of course, it's a UFO network. Uh, no, it's not an extraterrestrial invasion, but it is exceedingly strange. Okay. But they take hits against the conspiracy theorists who are guessing just like you are. And you admit it is exceedingly strange. Of course, they stay, state that the chaff, don't worry about it because there was this um, military study in 1993 that well, based on reviews of numerous toxicological studies, the key components of chaff, aluminum, silica glass fibers, and steric acid, doesn't pose an adverse impact to human and environmental health. So don't worry, Americans. All of that aluminum that is dropped by your military, apparently in massive amounts in areas around the country, it's safe 
and you can believe your military because your military it's there to protect you not harm you so don't worry but here of course the ending this um, blip it hovered in the atmosphere for an inordinate amount of time 10 hours 10 hours funny how those uh, aerosol uh, injections the stratospheric aerosol spraying those contrails quote unquote they don't dissipate they linger they spread out for like 10 hours at a time uh, you know this kind of insanity in our country and people just you know not using their brains it's really isn't it getting on your nerves uh, so this article concludes with so if these reported military exercises continue you can expect more radar anomalies to crop up all over the country well what they're saying is you can expect your military to be dumping more and more aluminum into the atmosphere and studies have shown that aluminum is highly toxic so that 1993 study uh, is yeah well they tell you everything's safe vaccines GMOs and geoengineering well David Keith admitted aluminum the geoengineers to save us from global warming are dumping aluminum into the atmosphere and we've got our military dumping apparently massive amounts of aluminum that hang about for 10 hours what gets dumped in the atmosphere it doesn't just stay up there it comes down you breathe it aluminum known to be extremely toxic and has a just a myriad effects neurological effects okay but it's safe um, last sentence so you can expect more blips and you can expect more conspiracies to be born conspiracies actually exist conspiracy theories well that's a good thing because people are using their brains they ask themselves questions they do research they use critical thinking unlike an awful lot of Americans like this John Webb all right so um, I have to read this future of weather control a plan for the next phase in weather modification science and technology development Raytheon addressing a weather modification association meeting in 2005 the work involves using plasma an ionized gas to reconfigure the ionosphere doesn't that sound fabulous doesn't that sound safe yeah let's just get into the ionosphere and reconfigure it uh, Mirage which is the microwave ionosphere reconfiguration ground-based emitter radar stations Doppler radar stations um, Mirage would employ a microwave transmitter on the ground and a small rocket that shoots chaff into the air to produce about a liter of plasma in uh, it's like 36 to 60 miles in altitude changing the number of electrons in a select area of the ionosphere to create a virtual barrier ionosphere reconfiguration offers two major applications of interest to the military bouncing radars off the ionosphere also known as over the horizon radar right there you've got it our Doppler radar stations are involved in high frequency of the ionosphere for weather modification applications okay so I wanted to know what was going on in California I posted a video last night 
Um, and yeah, the storms, well, I did take note of all of the aerosol injections taking place. No, not Mother Nature, because she does not work in straight lines. Uh, she's circular. Now, it's obvious what you have here is manufactured cloud being microwaved um, and I mean th this all right this is not natural this is man making cloud right here but I found this interesting this very long aerosol injection wow wow okay so it extends for miles in the Pacific and what you have yeah all of a sudden this cloud just appears you have nothing here watch it appear boom 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 yes and it appears with straight lined a straight lined shape boom microwaves so uh, it couldn't be more obvious mother nature does not work in right angles these straight lines so Radar shows that you are still getting hit with an awful lot of precipitation, but I need to hear from you. I did a YouTube search. I searched articles. Um, what I have been finding is everything forecasted to come. Did you get any flash flooding? You see all of man manipulating the storm and Sorry to say, but it's being held in place for you. Held in place. All of these straight lines right here, these uh, cutouts of the precipitation, very nicely defined. That is man using frequencies. And they can hold in place these storms to create flash flooding, to create mudslides and you've got this going on all over all over this storm now you're not going to hear from your mainstream meteorologists they talk about extremely low frequencies controlling our storm no they're going to ignore everything that they see and just report it as natural but it's not this is generated by man. Um, Southern California, you look like you're pretty much the, the precipitation is, well, going away. Is that the case? Or are they going to be bringing you more? Because this is what Oprah's friend said this morning. A winter storm hitting the West Coast forced hundreds of people from their homes across a wide area of Southern California. A wall of mud triggered by heavy rain damaged houses in Encino. That's northwest of Los Angeles. The downpour sent rivers of mud, rock, and debris down roads near Malibu last night. The storm delivered more than two feet of snow to the Sierra Nevada. Cars and trucks spun off Interstate 80, which is closed still closed in some areas this morning. And residents are bracing for even more severe weather. They've got two more days of heavy rain and blizzard conditions that are expected in California before that storm takes aim at the East Coast this weekend. Oh my God, another, another uh, storm originating in the Pacific, hanging out in California for days on end, and then it's just gonna make its way completely across the country on up to New England and this is all new and new 
Well, it's brought to you by man. Mother Nature has been killed off. Man has usurped Mother Nature with the use of technology to bring about weather. So you have two more days of this, guys, in California. Two more days. So the Encino mudslide happened after the um, mudslide in... Um, <laughs> we just heard the other mudslide that happened earlier in the day. My God. Well, let's just listen to it again. Three down, down roads, roads near, near Malibu, Malibu last, last night. night. Malibu, yeah, okay. Well, you know, in my search, I could find no videos on uh, mudslides or flash floods that occurred. So the Encino mudslide occurred after I posted my video, sometime after that, and I guess this morning. In doing my research, I come across this article, which was apparently published just yesterday. 40 mile per hour mudslides, floods, blizzards, six feet of snow, 110 miles per hour winds, California nightmare. Oh, I read this headline and I'm like, holy shit. Oh my God. Well, that's the forecast. An ominous forecast of heavy rains and snow threatened wildfire scorched California on Tuesday and Wednesday. This is how they write mainstream media articles now. They give you this kind of headline that makes you think it happened. Then you get to know it didn't. It's an ominous forecast for heavy rains and snow threatened wildfire scorched California on Tuesday and Wednesday. Okay. Uh, with more mudslides and blowing snow that already forced closures of sections of the uh, Pacific Coast Highway and Interstate 5. There will be no day through at least Thursday when a significant part of California is not being affected by a storm rolling in from the Pacific Ocean. All right, well, they're going to have to uh, work on this band of precipitation here in Southern California and San Diego to, I guess, intensify it and spread it out. But most of this is in Northern California on up into Oregon. All of it manipulated. All of it manipulated by man. Brought to you by man. But they're saying that there were storms in the Pacific coming and you have two more days of this. Where are they? Where are these storms in the Pacific? Because you know what? I don't see them. I don't see them. So if you were going to have two more days of this, then you would see the storms. Oh, wait, no, they're holding this in place for you guys. They're just going to hold it in place. perhaps to bring about the mudslides. You look at the satellite and they are manufacturing the cloud substance across the United States, perhaps preparing to bring what they're going to say to bring this storm from California all the way on up to the East Coast, up New England. Look at how straight line this baby is. This is man. This is not Mother Nature. My God. And this is weird. It's, uh,
Well, it's obviously manufactured. You can see the microwaves, but it looks like a different, um, perhaps a different ingredient. Look at the different color. All right. Um, I just want to point out, yeah, I got to do it. Weather modification projects worldwide. Okay. Um, this is on the Climate Viewer site. I will link below to everything. Um, there are a lot more projects than are posted here. Well, he's got some back to back. Santa Barbara County Water Agency, Santa Barbara Project, North American Weather Consultant. Um, here are some <laughs> weather modification projects, programs, companies conducting weather modification in California. What is this? It is an aerial seating operation area. Wow, Santa Barbara. California cloud seeding. I'm bringing this to your attention so that you can bring it to the attention of those who just don't want it to be brought to their attention. Well, it's interesting. This is the cloud seeding operation area. And what do we see on IntelliCast? Well, we see an awful lot of cloud. Okay. So uh, cloud seeding, that's what they talk about. That's what they're not afraid, you know, Americans to know. Okay, we cloud seed. We create uh, precipitation enhancement, snow enhancement, augmentation. Um, this is the area, the cloud seeding area. Santa Barbara County. You have utility companies, water uh agencies all involved in weather modification and I just can't stand how obvious it is getting how much evidence we have and we still can't get through to people bizarre something's wrong very wrong but this this is the weirdest uh, spray I have ever seen on satellite All right. Um, so what is this? This is page 58 of 137 pages, North American Weather Consultants. The summary of operations for a winter cloud seeding program for northern Santa Barbara and southern San Luis, San Luis, Obispo counties. Sorry if I've pronounced that wrong. This is in 2018. Santa Barbara County Public Works Department, Water Agency. You also have, which I just ran into. I don't know the date and I don't know this site, but it's an interactive map of weather modification, solar radiation management, Greenhouse gas removal. The purple is weather modification. Boise River Project. Southern Idaho Snow Augmentation Program. Upper Snake River Basin Project. In California, you have a whole lot of weather modification programs going on. So I will link below. You can check out this map. Um, Why can't we get through to people? Um, this is actually quite interesting and a theory of cloud seeding. There are so many me methods in which they can create uh, weather fronts um, using lasers, using radar, high frequency heating of the ionosphere that then shoots back down to Earth. You've got the extremely low frequencies modulated with the high frequencies and voila you got a cyclone you got an earthquake you I just don't like seeing people more and more people get hurt by 
this weather modification that is going on. Now, let me see if I can get back to, um, hang on. I just want to show you some of these maps. Okay, what is this? It's a NOAA map, and it is uh, giving the uh, percentages of precipitation. This is for November 2017, percent of normal precipitation in California. And you are real low. Oh, except for an area that if you look in this document, you will see that they cloud seeded right there and brought about precipitation. So every other area, you are much below, extremely below. Oh, well, you are so below, you are off the chart. Off the charts. 4%, 5%, 10%, 2, 6, 14, 12, 10, 18, 9, 5, 3. And here, 50% is where they're, where they stop. Extremely low amounts of precipitation. All right. So this is November 2017, and here it's pretty much the same for December 2017. The numbers actually lower. No rain at all. No rain at all. Wow. Well, let's go to uh, January 2018. A lot. 109, 105, 72, 63, uh, 67, 82 percent, 77, 92. Well, you're near normal. Let's go to February 2018. Back down. But when they are doing their weather modification programs 394 percent 268 196 309 230 296 198 216 144 oh my god what wow 214 202 312 extremely above what happened? You got weather modification. So, one who lives in California really needs to ask, why have they allowed these fires to go on and on and on? And they didn't think, hey, you know what? We should maybe do some weather modification over these fires and put them out right? I'll link below to everything. You guys in California, you got to tell me what's going on because when I see headlines like this, I go, whoa, all right. And you guys on the East Coast and well, from California all the way East, it seems that we're going to be getting another manufactured storm if it actually pans out. We don't know, but Please, you guys, certainly who are uh, Generation X, baby boomers, we didn't get storms on the East Coast that originated in the Pacific. Now, it seems to be happening more and more. I hope everybody is okay. Ciao, guys.